everyone, for those new here, I don't know why you'd be, but sure, maybe you found it randomly. My name is Sam, this is Shadow Harvest. And today, we're gonna talk about my latest tattoo, which is also an offering to a deity that I work with on the regular. Now, um, if you've been a, a, a popping around my channel or been around here for a little bit, you'll know that um, the three main deities that I continually work with are Persephone, Loki, and then Sobek, the crocodile god, that this tattoo is for, uh, Sobek. I already have, have a Persephone, more of a rededication offering tattoo video. Um, I will pop it up in the cards here uh, for you guys to check out if you'd like to go see that. Um, that one I got back in 2019. And uh, I thought about getting a tattoo for Loki in some sense, but there was something where I kept trying to like settle on a interesting depiction of him or something. And I don't know why, but I kept getting these inklings of the chaos God kind of like just rippling in and telling me like, no, there is nothing that really, like there's no one image that represents me. Uh, and in a weird way, it was almost like, no, it's the, the blankness, the chaos, the almost like constant envisioning of the tattoo was like enough of an offering for him. You just kind of felt like he was constantly like, no, not that, maybe this, and then nope, not that either. Like I couldn't settle on anything and it felt like nothing was quite right, which almost in a weird way fits with him better, at least for me personally. I have seen other people have wonderful Loki tattoos, but for me, I don't think I'll ever get one for him specifically just for those reasons. But Sobek, Crocodile God of the Nile, um, has been this, deity that I have worked with for some time now and he's very much again another one of those interesting duality gods for me uh Persephone many people know spring queen of the underworld in a lot of ways with Loki one of the things that I love about him and where I see some of his duality is the idea that he creates a lot of problems, but then also is the person to fix those problems. Chaos or tricksiness can be the thing that gets you into issues. It can create the chaos in the negative sense in a lot of ways, but also um, can open up possibilities uh, to interesting solutions to things. Uh, so back in a lot of ways for me is the idea of like instinct versus more intellectual intuitive order uh god of the nile very much um known as a fertility god uh but is kind of known in a lot of ways one because different areas of egypt worshipped the crocodile god differently like some really feared him where there was another a very specific city that i believe the it was it the Greeks or the Romans called Crocodopolis? Uh, Cause literally they like would keep crocodiles as like pets. There was like an ancient revered one. Uh, some crocodiles were like mummified. It was a very, they were very sacred and seen as something to honor. And it was almost like a very positive light option of Sobek. Whereas for the more animalistic side of the crocodile with instinctually very much of a, this is a chaotic God that could just ravage you, destroy you, um, eat you from the boat to which you are fishing. <laughs> like it's not necessarily good things. They were like hunted down constantly, uh, not a God feeling sort of loving protection from, but instead very much bad, scary, angry God. Now for me, I kind of felt with one I was always more terrified of crocodiles um they kind of were this thing that like haunted me as like a child like instead of like the boogeyman being under my bed when i was little i used to think crocodiles were under my bed i had a lot of nightmares revolving around them i also have a video kind of talking about my first interactions and stuff with the crocodile god if you want to go poke at that a bit but over time with working with uh sobek specifically i think the fertility and the um instincts aspect of the god and that whole like, you know, listening to, I guess your gut or like, it's not necessarily like your intuition. It is much more like that um, instinctive animalistic side of ourselves and allowing that um, to have its place and its reverence has been really important and helpful for me in my personal development and then in my craft. I have found that when I go into my meditations with Sobek, a, a big, big one that I do a lot um, is I suddenly am in this, I go into kind of like a, dark abyss of a place when like that's what I envision and then I just kind of like see what comes up at the current moment that's one of my favorite um, meditations to do 
is to just immerse myself in all dark um, and even times when I'm like closing my eyes instead of like staring at a flame or doing some sort of thing with that meditative state a lot of times I just close my eyes or even like blindfold myself and sit as I try to meditate and like really focus on my breathing and my own heartbeat and a regular one that I do where Sobek ends up appearing is I'll be in this totally dark state and I'll feel like water kind of rise up from my feet and like slowly engulf me to the point where then I'm floating and then I'll feel like a crocodile like kind of like sink him through the water but then like hold up my back so it's like almost like he's my floaty <laughs> and then it's like just us chilling there and it's like an idea of like being patient and this constant idea of like yeah you're lost and confused and that's okay to like sit in it for a moment sit there wait be patient until the right moment to strike is like how crocodiles do when they're hunting they sit there under the water for a long time perfectly still until something comes just within reach and perfect time to snap so with all that in mind uh, i decided that one of the things i really wanted was to kind of embody that idea of like the crocodile in the water the idea of like you sit there and patience and feeling your emotions and listening to your instincts until your instincts tell you yes this is right yes this is the time to strike i wanted this tattoo to look like a crocodile swimming under my skin um i kind of then googled that a little just to see what um i'm sure other people had done a tattoo i have of course found some like interesting ideas of like ink drawings of crocodiles on skin swimming underneath uh the idea of like a more of like inky drawing of a crocodile you know from above looking down the water and i like that idea but of course the tattoos the best thing to do is never steal someone else's art but to have ideas and like thought processes of what you want and then send it to your own personal tattooers whose art you love which i do um their name is bex and uh their uh tattoo studio uh will put in the description down below if you ever want to look at their stuff their instagram it's amazing artwork i love their style oh so much and uh it's the same artist that did my persephone tattoo and then my wheel of fortune tattoo uh so i kind of just like spit some ideas back just came up with the like oof, the best little uh situation we had a fun time also because I didn't realize at the time I was hoping that the tattoo was going to be a certain size, about six inches long, like not that big, but we literally probably printed out like seven different templates and every single time I kept thinking like my thigh was like swallowing up the crocodile and I didn't want that. It was very much of like, no, this is a presence, like this is more of an equilateral thing. And I kept feeling that kind of like nudge from Sobek as we were like doing it like, ah, 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 bigger, bigger. <laughs> Just because one one of the reasons I put it on my thigh, I guess this is interesting too, is when placing my tattoos, there is an idea of like the placement also kind of being sacred and integral to the god or goddess. Um, with Sobek, there is definitely an element of like, he is also known as like the garter or the uh, protector of the pharaohs. Like that became a thing at some point uh, through history uh, for the ancient Egyptians. And so that idea also really resonated with me, the idea of like strength um, guarding the armies, protecting the the kings or the ki queens is very much like, a, oh yeah, no, that seems to be like, I like the idea of like being the warrior, being the, the garter type of deal. And I'm sorry, when I think of the strongest part of my body as for, I'm sure many another uh, big thad individual, it is the thighs that is my most powerful element. Those are where the muscles are, even if they're covered with a little bit of squish, like there is still power underneath them. So it only made sense that the crocodile would go there. And so I'm attempt to show you guys some things. We'll see if like, if the salaciousness, I'm gonna attempt to crop this tattoo a little bit and to show uh, how, it, how it ends up looking. Kind of my prep up to getting sacred tattoos um, for me, because this is definitely an offering to Sobek a uh, thank you. I like to always, before I get the tattoo, uh, along with like regular tattoo prep, you know, like make sure your body is clean and shaved and whatnot, uh, an ease for the tattoo artist is while I'm showering, I uh, take a bottle of moon water uh, that has been charged and I pour it over the body part that I am getting tattooed is kind of like a blessing idea the idea of like the shower was very cleansing and then the moon water poured over as i exit is the blessing part of that uh and then throughout the healing process i have a little uh mini altar setup or a little section for where sobek is the perfect place to do offerings so i would as i'm like 
cleansing the tattoo or like adding lotion to it throughout the healing process, I would always do it in front of Sobek and light a candle and offering. Again, saying a very big thank you type of deal. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I feel like this is one of those tattoos I've wanted for a very long time. Like the minute the idea kind of hit me a few years ago, I was like, yeah, no, this is it. This is it. And then it was just waiting to get in a good time and for COVID not to be so awful. Uh, so I could go in and get it done safely and all that. So anyway, comment down below some of your tattoo ideas, um, dedication stuff that you've gotten for deities or different parts of your craft. I always love to hear that stuff. It's uh, always so fascinating to me when uh, witchy culture and tattoo culture kind of combine. So anyway, there will be so some more videos coming up on this channel when I find the time to between the rest of my busy life. And until then, I hope you guys all have all the blessings you are invoking into this world. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.